Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find the IP address of the given website. So for this, for writing this Java program, we need to intake the website URL from the user. Once we receive this website URL from the user, we'll write the Java logic to print the IP address of the given website. So let's get started writing the Java code. So first step is to intake the website URL from the user. How to do that? For intaking anything into the Java program, we need to create an object for the scanner class, right? For intaking anything from the user into the Java program, we need to create this scanner class object. Once you create an object for the scanner class, you need to hover the mouse on scanner and import this scanner from java.util package. And this constructor cannot be empty. You have to provide system.in. Fine. After doing this, we need to ask the user to enter. We need to ask the user to enter the URL. Enter the website URL. By taking this as input, we'll find the IP address of this website. So after looking at this particular text in the output, user will try to give any IP uh, website, website URL. Let's say flipkart.com. Okay, flipkart.com. So this address I'll copy and paste into the here. Okay, so like this user will try to give the website URL address. Now we need to intake this particular thing into our Java code. How to intake? This is in the form of a string guys. So for that we need to copy this scanner object and call this method known as next line method. This will intake the string input from the user. So next line will capture this uh, website URL address given by the user as input. And once this is capturing this website URL, we can store that into a variable. So I will give that name as a website. Okay, website is equal to over the mouse create local variable. Done. Now we got the website URL given by the user in taken into the program. Now we need to write the logic for finding the IP address of the given website URL or address. So for this, we have a predefined class, inet, inet uh, address, okay? inet address dot, you see here, there are many predefined methods of this inet address predefined class of Java. So that is, uh, we have to go with this uh, get by name guys, okay? We have to go with this uh, get by name. inet address dot get by name. Here we need to provide this website. And this get by name will return the same inet address. So here I'll say IP is equal to for the mouse create local variable inet address IP is equal to inet address dot get by name. Now there is some error coming over the mouse. Uh, we need to surround this with a try catch block. What if in case this website given is a invalid website, then that will throw an exception guys. to overcome that exception. It's giving this error. So we need to surround this with try catch block. That's it. Okay. Automatically this code will be added try catch code when you do so in Eclipse ID. Now here, once you get the IP address, we will simply say system.out.println IP address of the given website URL is You have to say plus this IP. Just print out this IP guys, nothing more than that. If in case the website URL given by the user is uh, wrong or invalid, it will go to the catch block. Here we'll print out saying system.out.println user has inputted an invalid website URL address. Okay, like this. Now, I think we are done. Okay, I think we are done writing the logic for finding the IP address of the given website. One more thing left is uh, we need to, as part of the best practice, we need to close this scanner object once all the inputs are taken from the user. So here only one input taken in this program, that is we have collected the website URL from the user. After intaking that uh, input from the user, we have to simply close this scanner object as part of the best practice. And also this will resolve the warning. This is not mandatory guys, but if you do so, it will be following the best practices. Fine, we are done with the program guys. Let's run this code and see. 
So see, it's asking the user to enter the website URL. So I'll copy paste the same thing here and uh, paste and enter here. Okay, and press enter. When I press enter, it should print the give the IP address of the given website URL. So this looks like a wrong one. It's saying, but uh, I have given. Maybe I have to give www.flipkart.com only. Okay, let's see. Let's try up to here only instead of coming giving full thing. Let's run it again. Yeah, now it's working, guys. Okay, you should not be giving HTTPS and all those stuff. Only we have to be giving this part www.websiteurl.com. That's it. Okay, so IP address of the given website URL is. This is the IP address, guys. One six three dot five three dot seven six eight six. So, hope guys, you understood how to write a Java program to find the IP address of the given website. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.